Okay, we're here inside a real uh, screen room, and uh, we've talked about computer graphics, we've talked about uh, softwares, different type of softwares, uh, printing devices, and uh, we've talked about mesh, the frames. Now we're here in a screen room, and we're going to talk about emulsions, but before we talk about emulsions, I'd like to just uh, show you around and show you what a real screen room should look like. And uh, this is very important because, believe it or not, this is where the quality uh, some of the quality and the consistency of the quality can come out of. Um, basically, the better quality you can get out of this room, uh, the better your prints are going to look. And uh, that sounds true for everything all the way from your graphic designing all the way down through this portion of the video. Okay, so one thing I'm going to point out um, that I like a lot about this room, if you look up the lights, if you notice the lights are not normal, uh, they're yellowish, uh, basically what they are is uh, they're filter lighting. They filter out the UV lights because whenever you're working with emulsion, you have to work in a UV uh, safe environment um, while they're drying. And uh, as you can see over here, another thing that's really nice about the screen room, if you look down here on the bottom, we have a um, humidifier. Humidifier basically is going to suck all the moisture out of the environment, which is very important in uh, drying your screens properly. Uh, another nice feature I like about this screen room is they have drying racks. Okay, the drying racks are really nice because basically what we want to do is when we're drying the emulsion, it's in a liquid form, so gravity is going to take control. So when we coat the screens, and we will be going over that here in a few minutes, um, after we coat them, we want to go ahead and position them basically substrate side down, squeegee side up. We want the thickness of the emulsion as gravity is pulling, the thickness of it to be on the substrate side. Reason being, this is going to be our ink deposit side. So these screen racks are really nice. We got permanent screen racks and we also have a portable screen rack here, which is really nice. Once you're done exposing your screens, you can roll them right back out into production. Uh, let's move right over here. We have a nice table. Uh, Obviously, it's not going to be clean because you're going to be coating your screens here. It's going to get dirty. Um, but, hey, this, is, this works out perfect. This uh, table has a really nice, uh, looks like a uh, screen holder here. So when we uh, go to coat screens, um, this makes it really nice. We can get a, our scoop coater. We'll pour our emulsion in here, okay? And we want to use both hands. Okay, so when you're coating screens, this, this little feature right here, this little stand, is worth a million bucks, I'm telling you. It, it really helps a lot in maintaining the screen sturdy. Uh, when you're coating a screen, you always, always want to start on the substrate, substrate side. And what I mean by that is substrate side is the side that touches uh, whatever you're printing on, whatever garment you're printing on, or whatever substrate you're printing on. And then we have the squeegee side. That's the side that the squeegee runs on. So we're going to start on the substrate side. Depending on the mesh count, uh, the more open the mesh, the less passes you have to do. The more closed the mesh is, or the finer the mesh is, the more passes you have to do. So a good starting point is uh, using a scoop coater. You have a thick edge and you have a thin edge. Thick edge will deposit more emulsion. The thin edge will deposit less emulsion and will have better control. So Coming from a technical background, I like to use a sharp edge for everything. Um, sharp edge, and this mesh county here is a 160, so you can probably uh, coat this screen um, maybe two on the front. And you want to make sure that you're holding it evenly so you have good stability. And then you cut the emulsion. So you want to do two passes on the substrate side. We're going to flip it over and we're going to do two passes on the squeegee side. And again, centering your hands, getting the scoop coater in there, making the emulsion touches, go up slowly. You've got to go one. Two. Okay? And basically what you're doing is you're pushing the emulsion from one side back to the other 
again, giving you that stencil thickness that we're looking for for good ink deposit. So that's uh, how you coat a screen. Um, from here, you want to let it dry. You want to put it in your drying cabinet. And then you want to go to the exposure unit. Okay? Right here, we have a metal halide exposure unit. Okay, this is probably the best light source uh, that you can use for exposing screens. Um, entry level metal halide light source is probably ranging uh, in the $3,500 range, somewhere around there. There might be some better prices uh, out there. You might be able to find a used one. Just be aware of the used ones that they have a good bulb um, or the bulb can be replaced and uh, it's still functioning properly. But uh, metal halide is a light source and we'll go over a little bit more about the light sources. Uh, we also have an exposure unit here. Uh, this is a fluorescent uh, exposure unit. This is a good entry level exposure unit. Quality is not going to be as good as a metal halide, but um, for entry level, because of the price, uh, you can get away with this. Um, there's other light sources out there, and we'll go over some of those out there. Um, also, we have a washout tank here. Uh, the washout tank normally should be on the outside. This is probably the only thing that uh, I would not have inside the uh, um, emulsion room or the dark room. Uh, reason being is we're trying to dry screens in here, so we want to keep all the moisture outside. Um, so this definitely will prevent the screens from drying fast enough. So let's uh, keep that into consideration and do anything that has to do with moisture outside with the exception of coating screens in a dark room.